Hey, what's up? Hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get all your favorite eye emulator applications for free. However, this does require a jailbreak, and if you're not jailbroken, I highly recommend you do by following my free and easy tutorial linked in the description below. Now, I have made a video on this in the past, but I felt like I needed to make an updated version for the latest jailbreak and new subscribers. With all that being said, I hope you all are excited to start this video. If you are, definitely hit that like button, and without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, getting AppSync Unified is very simple and all you have to do is go ahead and open your Cydia application. Once it's open, go to sources at the bottom left hand corner and then select edit at the top right and add at the top left. We're going to be adding a new repo. The repo that we'll be adding is Cydia.angelxwin, which you can learn how to spell on the screen now or you can copy it from the description below. But once you have that written out, you can go ahead and add the source by simply clicking adding source. It'll verify the URL, do all the Cydia things that it usually does, and once it's done, you can go ahead and return to Cydia by selecting return to Cydia. Now you'll see that you'll have a new repo called Karen's Pineapple Repo. Click on it, select all packages, and select the AppSync Unified package. This is the tweak that we'll be installing that will allow us to download all the iEmulator's applications without the date trick, without a build store account, without anything. All the applications will simply install once we select install on this tweak at the top right and then hit confirm. But I would like to mention, as you just saw in the description of this tweak, this is not meant for piracy. Only download applications from iEmulators as those are safe and available for free. Anything else, I would not recommend downloading because you don't know where that's been or what it's done or if you are or are not pirating. But with that being said, just simply follow this tutorial and you'll be good. So once you finish installing AppSync Unified, it'll ask you to respring your iOS device. Go ahead and respring it and go back to your home screen where you'll see that you actually don't have any new applications because it's a tweak. Once you install it, the things will just seemingly work. So go ahead and go to iEmulators.com and go to the applications and all you have to do is go to any application that you'd like and go ahead and install it. So I know that GBA for iOS is a popular application that people are always constantly asking you how to get so you can easily get it by selecting GBA for iOS, selecting install and install again. And if you need any help getting games for GBA for iOS, I have made videos on it in the past and all you have to do is click the video that is actually within the iEmulators website that you see there you just click it and play it and you can learn how to get games but in this video i'm simply showing you how to get the application and this will work for any other application that is on i emulators as well thanks for watching i hope you found this video helpful if you did then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated as well as share this video with a friend and let them know how they can get their favorite i emulators application for free finally if you're interested in being notified whenever I upload a video, make sure you click that subscribe button as I make iOS tutorials like this one every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.